Hey Pisces and Crosswatchers, today we are doing um, your feelings, their feelings kind of spread. So I'll be using um, Mitch's jar for your feelings and I will be using Rider weight for the feelings of the person you are connecting with in the month of May. Please keep in mind that these are general messages. They may or may not resonate with you. If they resonate with you, please like and subscribe to the channel. If they don't resonate with you, just let them fly and check out some amazing tarot card readers on YouTube who you can resonate with. Um, yeah, uh, what else? Let's get started. Feelings of Pisces towards the person they're connecting with in the month of May 2019. Karma in reverse. That's not what we expected. So, going through a bad phase in life. Consider it. Oh, sorry. Now we move on to the other one. Consider it, um, if you're going through some bad phase in life, um, in your love relationship, um, maybe even in, you know, uh, your partner is giving you a hard time with their, with their feelings or something like that, um, consider this um, your karmic debt. It's ending of a karmic cycle, maybe a little delayed ending of a karmic cycle. Feelings of the I haven't asked my question yet. Feelings of the person connecting with Pisces in the month of May 2019. The other person is looking forward to. Um, the other person is hopeful. Uh, the other person is looking forward to new beginning with you. The other person is waiting for you. Um, maybe you're going through an emotional meltdown in life, uh, and that's your karmic period, uh, ending of a karmic period uh, in your life. Um, you know, there are some delays in your karmic period, but um, the other person is hopeful. The other person is looking forward to being uh, with you. The other person is uh, looking forward to have a happy life with you. I have some sort of feeling. Three of Wands is about, like, you know, um, waiting and being hopeful, but I, I think it's like, I, uh, it's my gut feeling that it's like start of a new beginning for some people. It's just a gut feeling. Start of a new chapter. Feelings of Pisces. Person they're connecting with. Could be a new relationship starting be marriage that's my gut feeling but whatever it is it's it's something permanent that's that's my gut feeling that's not what the card is saying but that's me and my gut feeling Mm. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So you're being lazy. You're not being paying attention. Could be because of this karmic debt you're paying. Yeah, that most certainly.
you're not um you're not working on this relationship not at least now in the month of may you're like i'm taking my time not to work on this relationship time out for you you're being lazy you're just sitting there putting your emotions aside and not working on anything not even on this relationship you've given up on this relationship somehow maybe temporarily it, it is temporary because obviously this is karma at play but depends on what decision you make during this period feelings of the other person in the month of may to connect them with Pisces don't make any rash decisions the magician the other person is like full of mojo full of its craft you on one side is like you you seem to be drained of all your of, uh, all your energy and out of your batteries they are charged they're hopeful they're charged for some of you they could be using some sort of mojo mm -hmm. for pro some of the cross watchers are you using hmm witchcraft could be Hmm. And someone is a very powerful someone is you know having a very powerful hold over you although you want to give up on them but they have a very powerful hold on you they know how to control you that's why they have they are hopeful despite the fact that you've given up they are hopeful because they know how to control you they know they can have you on the leash are you feelings of Pisces towards the person they're connecting with? I can definitely sense some mojo hmm, how do you I can smell that I can smell some burning, something burning some candles burning Or not like you know, you know when you have those oil lamps burning ironic this one has a candle in it no man so many cards nope It's a person that I can attend with in the month of May 2019. Uh, yeah, so I was saying that somebody's definitely using some sort of magic on the air, Pisces. I'm not worried. I can, I can smell some oil burning. Some sort of oil. Like sweet almond oil. And now my cards are speaking. Yeah. These are Pisces. Be 
Anchor. Dark faces are the make here. Yeah, somebody. Oh, the world in reverse. These are actually two cards. Definitely ending half a karmic cycle. Definitely ending up a karmic cycle and there is a delay in it. I don't see you having any sort of um i don't see any feel I, I don't see any feelings i don't see any movement from your end towards this person at least not in the month of may you will be very very reserved you will be not working <sighs> this person is strong they feel like you are their wish fulfillment you you think that it's the world card in reverse is like delayed timelines delay in everything wheel of fortune is delay in everything but the delay of karmic you already have karma in reverse delay in karmic cycles and delay in everything but they are positive in everything and they have the magician card on their side and they are hopeful despite the fact that you have negativity and you are like backing off in everything they are hopeful they are they think you are their wish fulfillment you are surrounded your aura is surrounded by negativity around you around you, you are like you know trapped in negativity the, in this particular month because of some karmic cycles and some endings which are happening natural cycles not your fault some of it your fault but the other person is despite all that crap is so hopeful and so okay with everything and they have the magician card and honestly speaking I, i'm not kidding you i i could smell the sweet almond oil and the burning this person is using some sort of motor on you be safe be safe Pisces. i'll see you next month hopefully you clear up this mess and get out of it I'll see you next month. Bye.